Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a second floor and then add a roof to that floor. The first step is to create a very simple building. How to do this is shown in the previous tutorial. We will now add a window using the constructional support placement method, placing the window centrally between two points. In fact, we will add that same window to all four walls. and we will now add a door to the front wall. Holding the left and right mouse buttons down, I can move the mouse to zoom in and rotate the view in the 3D view. We will now also add an internal wall. In the projects panel, select the ground floor and then right click on it. And from the context menu, select Properties. And then the Floor Properties dialog will open. This Floor Properties panel is quite self explanatory. The field that we are interested in here is the rough height. This defines the distance from one floor to the next. We now, however, want to create a new floor above our first floor. And to achieve this, right click on the building entry. And from the context menu, select New Floor Above and a new floor properties panel will appear for the new floor. And we now want to transfer the walls, doors and windows from the ground floor to our next floor. And to do this, we click on the transfer tab in the dialog. We can now select either none, all or selected. In this example, we'll select selected. And then from the tree, we will deselect doors because we don't want to transfer the doors to the new floor. Clicking on OK will create a new floor complete with the objects that we selected. If you do transfer any walls, doors or windows that you don't require, then simply select them and delete them. Next we're going to add a roof. Ensure that the upper floor is your current selected floor because this is the floor that the roof is going to be placed upon. The roof tool is located in the building tab Roof and Dormers group. Click on the insert roof tool and the menu will expand to show four placement methods. In most cases you can use the insert roof on selected contour. So click on the wall contour that you wish to place the roof and then your roof construction dialog will activate. The next step is to activate the 3D view of the roof so that we can select the various roof surfaces. Click on a roof surface and you will see that it becomes highlighted in the roof construction tree so that any edits that we now make will apply specifically to this roof surface. For example, we can change the roof profile from a hip roof to a gable roof. Select OK and any changes made to your preview are applied to your project. We can examine the roof in the 3D view and the 2D view of our project. You can also hide the cladding so you can inspect the wood construction beneath the cladding. The roof construction on off tool is not available in the basic version. And using the visibility control in the project panel, we can hide the various floor layers visible in either the 2D or the 3D view. In the 3D view, 
you will notice that the upper floor wall does not reach the apex of the roof. To rectify this, we need to change the upper floor properties panel so that the height of the upper floor wall is greater than 2.8 meters. In the next step, we will edit the eaves overhang. To achieve this, we will double click the roof to activate the roof dialog. And then click on the 3D button to activate the 3D roof preview view. You can now select each roof side in turn and then edit the overhang fill. After editing each roof edge, you can select OK and then your project model will update. We now want to hide those timbers exposed on the gable end. To achieve this, again double click the roof to activate the roof dialog. And then select the gable end detail entry. We now need to enter a value greater than zero in the field visible if overhang greater than. You can also hide other wood construction components in the wood construction section. The roof pitch for each roof surface can also be adjusted. For each roof side you can adjust the eaves height independently. And finally, we will change the eaves type. So that concludes our introduction into the Visual Building Roof Designer. Please look out for our more advanced tutorials concerning the roof design. Thank you.